Yo, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are gonna take a look at Carabo CS Signals and see exactly what is going on in that group as well. Before we get started, I want to say a massive thank you to the gentleman who had provided me with the information to make this video possible for you guys. Without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, going through the Instagram, we already know what we're going to see, right? We saw some nice cars. He bought a new Golf 8, as far as I didn't know. Bought a new Golf 8. I even left a message there for Dosaho, as you can see here. I said, Maps, you see what's possible when you can actually trade, you can actually buy a car, all right? Now, that's basically what we are going to be looking at here, is just the lifestyle as well. Now, this guy does charge, as you can see, he does charge 750 for lifetime signals and they then lifetime plutinum. I'm not sure if he meant platinum, um, but it's platinum. So we're going to just calculate, right? So according to sources, there's about 70 people in that group, right? So if we take, we're going to work on an average because the signals was 750. It's now, it was 1.5, it's 50% off. So we're going to work on an average of about 900 and we're going to times that by 69 because he's one admin, right? That gives him a total in monthly, uh, well, that gave him a total of 62,100. Um, but I'm not sure if these two groups are combined or if it's just per group in here as well. But that's not what we are here for. Now, let's get straight to it, right? One thing I did pick up about, you know, this sentiment, but I also can also understand that he's friends with, you know, the likes of Nasdaq Ninja and the Minister of German 30. Because if you look at the advertising, it's all the same, right? You get a Golf 70 in the background and then you see the format of that and you see the format of this as well. So I think they are a big click. And I want to say well done to Nasdaq Ninja. It's your boy, Nasdaq Ninja. And signal number four this week was a success. Well done, keep up the good work. Um, just, it just needs to go through the verification process if you don't mind any case let's get straight to it so the first signal over here was a buy now one thing i am going to say at the start of this call he's got a very good strike rate right very 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 good strike rate one thing i don't agree with no entry no stop loss no take profit right this morning i received a message from someone who said you know what in fact let me read it to you guys as i received it so that you can understand why i say that it is important that these gentlemen provide people with information like this this guy is in a group of someone who's named after a car he says oh wait earlier i follow you on youtube i love what you're doing I recently started to a forex i recently started forex and i joined lifetime signal groups of the car uh also known as the car this guy's ripping people off his signal is also useless now i'm obviously going to do a review on that right but what i'm saying is that there's new people who step into the industry who falls for you know the blue screens right i've said this many times you're like, yo you hater i cannot be a hater because the truth knows no lies but in any case the moral of the story is that if he's got a good strike rate no doubt about that if you have to pick between him and nasdaq and german you should be the guy that you should go to if this is the way that you want to trade, right? I'm going to take nothing away from the fact that he's got a good strike rate. That's just difficult for us to determine whether these signals, uh, you know, in terms of percentage calculations, because some of them runs into a drawdown because there's no stop loss or TP. But let's not any further ado. Let's get straight into it. Right, toe. Let's go. The first signal that we can see here was sent on the 18th of January. It was a buy on the Dow Jones just before the NY open at 16.29. Now, the signal was sent right around this time over here. There you can see. Boom. So, there was some drawdown, right? Just, just before this candle opened. This candle opened at half past. That signal was sent right around there. It dipped below this low. The low, the low. Okay, a dip just below, give that confirmation because you had a close of this candle, making sellers believe that it's time to step in because no. But then the market actually came out of their drawdown, came back, then, you know, printed an information and then went higher. So if you held on to this trade, you would have been very good. Now, what would I say about this, right? I would say that if you, someone who knows how to manage their trades, 
then this is a guy that you would like to sign up with based on the good strike rate, right? Like I said, he's got a good strike rate. Uh, yeah, we've got another trade. Yes, I think I must just find a way to just get this so I can just scroll through it, right? Um, the next signal, it was sent on the 19th at 11, which was here. There we go. And you can see here's a clear break. This is on the 15 minute time frame. But if you go on to higher time frames, you'd see this was a ranging market. And then there was a breakout of the range, the pullback, and then it moved higher. Whoever held on to this trade would have probably chowed it very nicely. But again, there's no indication of when to close, when to hold. And then there is a, uh, you know, guy there. <laughs> the 22nd of January, there was a buy set at 1621. And this was that buy right sent right over there. It was actually sent here, right? And you can see the price because you do say the MT4 chart pricing there as well, right? Can you believe the whole two liter water bottle? But let's continue. Now, this one over here, 1621, a buy on the down zones. You can see this trade actually went perfectly into the profit. Um, they, you know, moved up 110 points. Then some people's going to say it's 1,100. Others going to say it's 110. So I'm rather not going to say anything. And then we had a pullback over here, which was more or less the same as the profit that it was running in. Pullback, um, again, if you close there, well done. If you now to manage your trades, you would have probably closed the trade because you would have made some moolah paper there you can see there you can see there you can see the blue screens is coming through and now we got to sell on the 23rd of january which was allocated right around this level over here now some of these trades does have a stop loss and a tp some don't others just looks exactly like this right so here was a sell scene at 1622 which was right around here right 1615 1622 was somewhere around here right you see i gave him the best entry but again you know beautiful execution uh, on this trade so that trade went perfectly down um you know went perfectly moved to the downside then started to move up again if you got a strike rate if you are know about uh, managing your trades you would have closed that next one we've got a trade that was sent on the 24th of january which was sent right over there um again no stop loss no tp and that market went straight down printed uh, came back tested uh previous support over here then went higher again uh, tested the uh, support there as a resistance and then moved down once again so that is why i say that this guy the 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 best thing about these signals is the fact that there is little to no drawdown and you'll obviously see that as we go along and that's kind of what you want to see with signals like this right uh, is to minimize the drawdown so that you are able to hold through these signals as well can we justify if people made any money through this that is dependent on whether or not people was able excuse me to manage these trades right so the next one was sent on the 26th of january at half past four so we're gonna go was it this one oh, okay um i think it was okay here we go yep yep yeah. and uh, that one was in at 1633 which was somewhat in this candle right but you'll see the price now because this is a 15 minute candle but you'll i, I think you'll see the price now as we go along again this is what i'm referring to beautiful strike rate right you know oh you know we were consolidating there you know we had the breakout pullback and then a slight move to the upside um but i do feel that if you put some tps down uh you'd probably hit them without a doubt that's why i say that if you are someone who know how to manage their trades i'd probably say you can go ahead and give him a try Here's another trade 26th of the no that's still the same one that's the 29th right so let's go over here as well uh, here we go so this signal over here the 29th and of was uh, four there's 1628 you can see that we went up nicely came down um you know we came back tested support uh you know came came out came down boop 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 and then we moved again 
So if you got into these trades, you see little to no drawdown over here, right? And this is what you would love to see with signals that doesn't have, okay, sorry, this one actually has a stop loss at 38 point there, which never hit, so well done. Um, but the model of the story is that it is just good to see little to zero drawdown. There you can see some blue screens. Uh, 30th of January, there was a buy on the US 30. Yeah, once again, we can see there. Uh, <clears throat> now, this trade was sent right over there. Market went up. Now, this trade had a stop loss at 38.280, which was right there, as you can see. Unfortunately, the market did stop this trade out. If you do look there, 1626, uh, you'll see there, yeah, this is 1630. So for me, 1626 would have been somewhere inside of this candle. We had some profit to the upside, marketing pullback, took that stop loss out. Um, and then, yeah, let's continue, right? Yeah, this, this, this is a good example. Again, these guys don't trade with stop losses although they do send you. Do you see this candle over here was the one that actually went and hit that stop loss before it actually sought higher. I do stand, I do sp you know, speak from correction. But this is, I guess, why you would not trade with the stop loss because of the probability that it is gonna go into that direction, right? But if you didn't use a stop loss, then this would have been a nice trade once again. Um, but you should also use a stop loss to minimize the risk, right? Next one was a buy on the Dow Zones, which was seen at the end of the month, which was right over there, right, right over there. Am I, am I, am I lying? Buy the uh, US there, there, right there, right? So there was a buy, market went down, stop loss got hit, um, and this is the way we okay first of feb there was another buy on the down zones which we are gonna see over here um there we go so this market basically just moved, moved up a little pulled back equal low and then started to rally up once again again you know if you look at the drawdown you will see there is almost little to zero drawdown on the signals now, one thing I do want to just reiterate here very quickly, I will never agree with sending a signal in this format at all. Some people who is new into, into trading, they will struggle to adapt to learn how to trade. This was an NFP signal. You guys know I don't review NFP signals, although that went beautiful. And then this was on the 5th of February over here, beautiful sell. This one came with a TP and a stop loss, 38657, 38657 over there. You can see there, that thing went straight down, almost hit that TP. Um, but I would assume, you know, if you, if you, uh, I have announced that we have registered, okay, copy trading with trade 24, Carabo, copy trade, more copy trade. And then there was a buy on the 7th of uh, Feb that we're gonna go take a look at here quickly. Cool, so this you can see over here, right, clear break structure. Um, you know, we had a break, a pullback, a short continuation. Then this market basically ended up ranging for some time before the next trade didn't go as anticipated that was on the 7th of february right 7th of feb which was this one here sorry that went beautiful again my beautiful and your beautiful is probably different um but again we 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 all have a format in which we prefer to send our signals right so this was the buy on the 8th of february there you can see it over there um, that went straight down. The stop loss was a bit far down, but that stop loss had hit. No, sorry, I'm sorry. Can you guys see how confused the signals are making me? Um, 8th of February, there was no stop loss. Sorry, 8th of Feb, there, there was no stop loss. So this thing was probably, I, I don't know where it was closed. Um, but like I said before, I do not recommend signals like this, right? 
but if you have a good plan system that works with little to no drawdown can can you see this signal it went into a massive drawdown before it actually came out so i don't know if you have enough money in your account not you but people who paid you if they have enough money in the account to be able to sustain to have sustained well they should have made a lot of money with the signals uh, so far i believe okay here we got some cpi data that is coming through there was a buy on wednesday yay 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 okay you can see there's a buy on wednesday hey uh, okay 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 i think what was this the monday the 12th of feb oh that was the nfp was it was it was the nfp signal right um no this was the last one let me just do this quickly right let me just go here um okay yeah that was a cpi signal no that was a cpi then wednesday there, there was a buy, which was this one, Wednesday. This one was seen on Monday the 12th. Where is this one? Where is the Um. Monday. Was it this one? Yep. Another beautiful trade. Uh, beautiful execution on there as well. Um, yeah so that is basically it for this gentleman's uh, signals guys like i said you know what i bring you the information you decide whether it's worth your time or whether it's not something you would potentially like to sign up to um but for me i would say that i will never agree with signals that has got no tp and no uh, no it's especially no stop loss because it doesn't help much with calculating the risk so yeah that's that's my opinion you have your own opinion drop your opinion down in the comment section below thank you for your time and as always cheers for ears